Hey guys, what's happening? Clipper and Kitten with you today. As today is Monday, so it is Mailroom Monday. We have two pin purchases, and we also have a fan pack for you guys. So with no further ado, let's get started. This is from, when you open this, this was um, Discount Disney Trading Pins, is that what I said? I think so, yeah. And um, they had a live sale that I was watching and on Facebook, and... They were having some good deals on stuff, too. We got Beauty and the Beast, Mulan, and It's Fun Being Bad. Wait, there's another sticker. Mm -hmm. You guys are so excited. Which one is it? This one's Elsa, I think. It's a Frozen, I believe. Yeah, but I don't remember which one's Elsa. I think Honest one's a dark color here. Okay, it came wrapped in this mat, but it all, I got all, oh look, here's one I didn't ruin. Someone's, when I got pins the other day, it was in one of these maps, but it had Chewy on it and I ruined it when I took the thing off. So now we got one that's not ruined. That's awesome. Okay, now what did I get? What did I get? Oh yeah, okay. I got these mystery pins, World of Evil, and here's all of the different villains you can get that's on the back if I can move this over so you can see if you want and we'll open these okay today All right. i would say probably most of these are going to be traders our traders are always very low so i was trying to find ways to get good pins and i think these ended up being like ten dollars yeah. or 12 sure. 15 something like that but they're normally 30 dollars so you want to open so. that right now Hold on, let's, I'll pull out all this other stuff and then we'll open those last, all right? Okay. Oh yeah, and then I got this. Oh wait. Zipper. Zipper and the Rescue Rangers logo. I want to say this was like $8 or something like that. $10, he's so cute. Oh, here's our pen, here's our um card. Is that focusing? Can you guys see that? And here's a thingamabob. Oh yeah, I ordered that. That's a gift. You can't see that. Can't see that either. Oh, and then I finally got one of these. Okay, now this doesn't have Nana on it. One of my only faults about this pen. But it does have a lot of everybody else on it. It's a Peter Pan family pen. But no Nana. No Nana. Disney, you need to put out more Nana merchandise. It's so pretty. It's got all the Lost Boys and Hook and Smee. And if only it had Nana. Yeah, I was going to say, you know what would make it even prettier? Nana. So is that all the pins there? Okay, yeah, that was all of that. So now we can open those. World of Evil pins. You want to do the honors? Wait, I'll just hold this so I don't drop them. Okay. No, you can open it. Oh, I'm excited about these pins. These were really good deals, too. I can't remember how much this family pin was. I want to say $10 or something. Or, oh, yeah. I don't know. They have really, really good prices on new Disney pins. You want to do the honor of tearing this because I don't have scissors. I highly recommend you go and check them out. Through the power of scissors, we now have this open. You want to grab one first? Yeah. How many is in here again? Five, I think. Five, okay. Maleficent. Oh, she's kind of cute. Look. Aww. I looked in, but I didn't see anything. I looked in like it was a bag of snacks. Muffin's playing with a toy back there. This one's Trinabog. Can you guys see? I don't know. These are cute, though. Cuter than I thought. I haven't seen any of these in person, so this is the first time seeing them in person. Oh, I pulled another one, hun. I'm sorry. I think this sorry. is the bad guy from Pinocchio. I don't know, though. Someone correct me in the comments. So, three in so far, and there's no duplicates just, just yet? There shouldn't be duplicates in here. Oh, that's good. Oh, that one is Mother Gothel. And last one. Who is this guy? Humpty Dumpty is out on a wall. I don't know. 
Who is this guy? Guys, who is this? Just tell us that in the comments also. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, most of these are going in traders. So a nice collection there that um, Kitten amassed. And now our last piece of mail for today is a fan pack. And it comes to us from Cincinnati Reds. <laughs> and yes, you saw my real name there. It is Nathan Webb. There's been some people that said to me on Facebook <laughs> that were surprised to know that Clipper is not my real name. No, it's not. It is Nathan Webb. Each year, I always request a fan pack from the Cincinnati Reds because they are the team that's closest to us. And they always um, are good about sending out nice fan packs, so I figured... We don't have a baseball team? Pack. I'm not uh, Major League Baseball, no. Oh. There's a, I believe, a minor league team in Lexington called the Legends, but I don't know if they're like affiliated with official Major League Baseball, Minor League Baseball or not. Start out here. We've got two red stickers. That's pretty cool. Oh, yes. Got a few cards here. Sam the Bald Eagle. Is that their mascot? Uh, I think it's a Cincinnati Zoo kind of promotional thing. Oh. Got cards of their mascots. Start out with Gapper, the kind of the cartoon character type of uh, mascot you see for the Reds. Yeah, what kind of ammo is he? Let me see if it says. Mr. Red Legs. Hmm. It doesn't say. That's a mascot. They got two mascots? They've, they've got um, about four mascots. For one team? Yeah. Mr. Red. The team who stole all the mascots? Wait, why do they have two baseballs? Two baseball mascots. I'm so confused right now. I guess one's, one's like the father, the other's the son. And this is the mother, Rosie Reed. What? She looks like a, um, like how the girls dress on a league of their own. You know, in, prepare, in preparation for this uh, fan pack video, I watched last year's fan pack video when, we, when I opened the Reds fan pack and you said the exact same thing. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> yes. Well, and you she also does. wondered why Look they have her. four mascots. Well, because I want to know why they have four mascots. That's weird. Like, don't teams normally just have one mascot? Well, I'm not too sure, to be honest with you, my beautiful. Well, here it is a year later then, and I'm still confused about it. Oh, it, the mysteries of life. <laughs> Got some fathead stickers from the Reds. Can we message them and ask them why they have four mascots? I'm sure. I don't know if they'll write you back or not, but you're oh. more welcome to. By the way, if you'd like a Reds fan pack, go to their website. Uh, I believe it's www.mlb.com slash Reds. Once you're up on the Reds page, you scroll down to the bottom where it says contact us, and then you can go from there. Are these the things pack. you peel off and you put on the wall? Yes. Okay. Fathead stickers. Um, before uh, I moved in with um, Kitten, when I lived alone, uh, my mom had got me a, a Clippers a fathead sticker, and it took up a good portion of the wall, which I'm sure you remember seeing that one. So that's why you're asking, does that stick on the wall? And also this fathead sheet of Mr. Red Legs, Mr. Red and Rosie Red. Wait, now why didn't they put the little bird guy on there? Uh, that's rude. I, I don't know. And on the back right here. A free kids meal purchase from Texas Roadhouse. Just so happens I'm a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. A very nice fan pack as always from the Cincinnati Reds. Really do appreciate that. Uh, with that, that is Mail Room Monday. So uh, until then, tune back in to Clipper and Kitten. As I know we have a video that's going to be going up Wednesday. And then after that, who knows. So until then, later guys.